This one's a handgun. It's the uh, FN, FNX 45 with optics. Welcome back to another episode of Fenzer Guns and Ammo. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing. I just got my here you goes. Just got my uh, my package delivered today. This one's a handgun. It's the uh, FN FNX 45 with optics. Um, I'm super excited. I've read a lot of reviews on this one, and I'll definitely be given my own. Uh, pretty excited about this handgun. So. Let's, uh, let's go ahead guys and uh, let's open it up. Uh, first impression, I bought this from a Canadian online vendor. Um, I got a good price, uh, mid-1500 Canadian, which is not bad. Uh, the box looks in decent condition. Uh, it was delivered fairly uh, quickly after the transfer paperwork was done. No issue there. It's not the first gun I buy from you guys, so. See what it looks like inside. This is what it looks inside. Bunch of paper. Look at that. What do you need, eh? So yeah, the case looks in good condition. Looks like it's a decent corduroy type uh, nylon type uh, case. Um, and I believe this is the case is the color of the weapon. Now don't quote me on this one, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I got mine in FDE, so. <clears throat> Let's see what's in there. You guys gonna get the first look? Oh, here we go, nice. Okay. So, let's go here, so you guys can actually see what it looks like. You even have like a little uh, pack by number here. Got some documents up here, so let's go through everything that's in the case. So first, in the pocket here, what do we have? So we got, uh, just, Oh, we got the Vortex card for the, the site. We got the FN card. Not sure it does anything. And here, yeah, that would be the, uh, that is the, uh, the little uh, instruction manual. Okay. What else have we got? So, nice uh, Velcro pockets here. I think that's for like, is that, that's for the cleaning kit or the, they get, okay, they put a lock in there, but I think this is for like uh, an extended mag, really. Oh, look at that. This is like removable too. Sweet. Okay, what else do we have in here? We got, you know, uh, those are the beefy mag. And uh, of course, this is a 45 ACP. Uh, and I believe, so in Canada, as you can see here in the camera, they're pinned at 10 right here. So it says 10 RAM. That's the max we can have in our handguns. So, but I think this is a at least a 15 round in the states minimum. I wonder if it's not even more than that. So there's only one mag here. We got the what the firearm here. We got the protection. I think that's for the optic. Oh, let's see. If, all good, safe. Other magazine, same way. And we have the nice handgun here. Okay, so that's the handgun here. What else do we have in here? So what do we got in here? So we got, I believe in this bag here, we got a little, um, I think this is like optic related. I think this is a, an optic plate. And here we got 
Uh, well, this is actually pretty cool. Look at that, guys. That's a vortex uh, cap thingy. What else do we have in here? Yeah, that's all like. <coughs> so I get like uh, a little vortex venom, little clot here. Yet, how to operate the uh, the venom? And uh, yeah, and you got this little thing here, uh, like tool, I guess, to adjust it. And another piece of metal in there. Yeah, pretty sweet. So is that it? No, actually there's more stuff in here. Oh yeah, so we got also um, three different uh, grip adjustment for the back. And I think, see, those two are actually uh, different. And this one is the same, but the thing just thicker than this one here. And anything else? It looks like it's it for me. There's another compartment in here. Well, I think it's just to put the the protection in the case and this is yeah so here we have it um, pretty sweet uh, looking handgun here um, all right I'll give you guys a closer look here I'll take a camera and give you a different angle all right guys here is a close-up of the gun You can hear what it sounds like. It's a double action, of course. Safety. Uh, cocker, which is pretty cool. I love the cocker guns. Yeah, so pretty excited as uh, I had high hopes with this one. Here's a close-up of the case guy, just to see, so you guys can see what it is exactly, uh, close-up. Which is pretty cool, because all of this stuff is all put in, and you can actually rearrange it however, however you want, really, to do it. Alright guys, here is just to give you guys an idea of the difference in between uh, a Beretta 9A3 there at the top, and a Ruger SR1911 in 10mm. And of course you have the FN, FNFX, FNX 45 in the middle. So to be fair, the, the 45 is a pretty big gun. It's, it's beefy, it's got a big handle. Um, it's the only uh, polymer lower of the bunch here. Uh, and it, I mean, it's plastic, it feels like plastic, sadly, but it makes the gun a lot lighter, a whole lot lighter. So not necessarily a bad thing. Now, uh, we'll be able to do, I'll definitely do some comparison between all the models and stuff at a later date. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little example of what it looks beside other guns. So, it does have a upper uh, metal receiver though. The FNX, FNX, uh, FN, FNX 45, pretty, uh, can't wait to try this guy on a range. I was actually quite curious about the uh, Vortex sight, see if we could still use the sight that comes with the handgun. Uh, yes, even without this, the, the red dot working, you can very well see through through the glass there. Uh, should not be an issue. And you have some nice, and you have some nice um, white dot there. I don't know if you, can, you guys can see it to the camera, uh, which is pretty cool. It seems to be 
uh, we'll get a full uh, don't worry guys I'll give a full uh, detailed video later I want to focus more on the unboxing for this one but uh, quick impression it feels like a feels like a weapon you can bring to war I'll give you I'll, I'll tell you that uh, the polymer feels all right um, even though I'm not a big fan you got the metal uh, slide action here uh, which got nice serration in the back and in the front and in the back uh, I love the caulkers. Uh, a lot of my guns have been the caulkers, uh, so it's pretty neat for that. As you can see, it looks like it's set up for an MB, MB, MB uh, setup, minus the uh, the slide the slide removal button. Otherwise, you get the slide lock on both sides and the caulker on both sides. Uh, it is double action, uh, as you can see here. It is double action. This one has the. Uh, um, a threaded muzzle if you guys are into or if you're in your country you can use a silencer uh, all the better for you or a muzzle brake if you I had a gun with a muzzle brake before so that, can, that could be nice got a nice the um, the mag release is easily accessible mag release is easily accessible as you can see here again this is going to be taken care of in the uh, in the full description the paint on this, or whatever you use, the yeah, the paint I would say on the slide is very grippy. This is like this is probably one of the easiest gun I've had that I could uh, rack from the front. This is very very easy uh, compared to my other ones. You get a lot of a lot of meat to grab on here. It, the paint is grippy, and you have a solution, so which makes it pretty damn good. This is honest opinion, guys. I do prefer full frame. Uh, handgun um, and I don't know even though it does feel okay it does save on weight and all that good stuff I don't know I don't think this is the one that's downside that I can see right now from this uh, firearm without trying it is the uh, the polymer bottom but again this is a personal opinion and that's for me um, I don't know uh, time will tell um, Super excited about the Vortex. If you can find the, the handgun with the Vortex on, you save crazy amount of money. This is a pretty expensive red dot, so keep an eye on those guys. Um, I think it's like I think it was a hundred dollar difference in between the two, and this is more than a hundred bucks here in Canada, anyways. So you do have the attachment here to put flashlight or whatever else you might want to put on there. Um, so yeah, anyways. I hope you guys like it. Tell me in the comments if you like the color. Would you prefer me to get a black or a uh, green? Um, I think it's pretty cool. It's my first uh, FD looking weapon or firearm. So yeah, and it's my first FN too. So I'm pretty excited to see what this little guy can do on the range. All right. Well, again, guys, uh, please don't forget to uh, subscribe, comment, like, share the video. Right, all that good jazz. The channel is doing fairly well, uh, but uh, come on, the more subscribers I get, the more uh, nice content, weapon, and ammo I can get. So, the more videos you guys are gonna get. Uh, check out my Patreon. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Suspenser Guns and Ammo signing out. Cheers. Excited. This one is a handgun. Si chasse des mouches pendant que je mon vidéo. Alright, so this one's a handgun. Uh, FN, FNX. This one's a handgun. 